Now, students, we will discuss about the uterus and fallopian tube. Uterus, from the, this one is the fundus upper portion, and this constricted portion is known as the isthmus, and this is the external loss. Now, uterus a length 3 inches from fundus up to the external loss. This is the length, that is 3 inches. And from the uterine uh, 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 lateral end, that is uh, uterine tube, tubular opening, upper lateral end, lateral end, a transverse measurement that is known as that, that is uh, 2 inches. So 3 inches from fundus up to the total length of the uterus, so this, this portion, uh, 3 inches, 3 inches, and Transverse measurement is 2 inches or anteroposterior thickness, anteroposterior anterior to posterior the thickness 1 inches. Now, uterine wall, uterine wall, the outer surface covered by the peritoneum that is known as the perimetrium and this one is the musculature of the uterus, this is known as the myometrium and inside there is mucous membrane that is known as the endometrium. So, uterus has 3 layer, perimetrium that is peritoneal layer myometrium, musculature and endometrium. Now in the cervix, the, at the level of the isthmus, the narrowest portion of the uterine cavity is known as the internal os and this portion is known as the cervix. So uh, above the level of the opening of the uterine tube, this portion, uh, that means this portion is known as fundus. From opening of uterine tube up to the level of isthmus is the body, body. And this portion is known as the cervix. And there is vaginal attachment. Above the vaginal attachment, the portion, this portion is known as the supravaginal part of cervix. And within the vaginal attachment, or below the vaginal attachment, this is known as the intravaginal part of the cervix. So supravaginal part of the cervix and intravaginal part of the cervix. And this is the vaginal cavity. This one is the vaginal cavity, vagina, 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 vaginal cavity. And in the vaginal cavity, there is opening of the uterus, that is external loss. This one is the cervix, cervix is opening at the cervical canal. Now, length of the cavity, thickness of the myometrium, my, my, my uterine wall thickness is half inches. So, length will, my, cavity length will be 3 inches minus point, half inches equal to 2.5 inches, 2.5 inch, 2.5 inch length of the cavity, termine from external loss up to the uterine endometrium, endometrium. This length is the cavity length, 2.5 inch means ara inch. And next is the uterine tube. The uterine tube starts from the lateral end of uterus, that is intramural part, then isthmus, then dilated portion is known as the infundibulum, a hey, ampulla. Then most dilated portion, uh, funnel shaped portion is known as the infundibulum. Then finger like process known as the fimbria. And this is the ovary. And the length, that is the intramural part of the uterine tube, is known as intramural part 1 centimeter. And now this constricted portion is known as the isthmus. Now ampulla, isthmus is 3 centimeter in length, ampulla 5 centimeter most dilated part of the uterine tube, then funnel shaped portion is known as the infundibulum and this one is the fimbria. So, 1 centimeter, 1351, 1 centimeter, 3 centimeter, 5 centimeter, 1 centimeter. Now, this one is the ovary and during, after ovulation, ovum passes through the uh, rupture, the gaffian follicle undergo rupture and ovum passes out from the ovary and enters into the ampullary part of the uterine tube where Form penetrate the ovum forming that is known as fertilization. So fertilization takes place in the ampullary part of the uterine tube. 